I'm Regan Burns, and as a kid, Marlon Brando used to wander off so much that his sister would take him to school on a leash. But the real problem was fitting him for that cone over his head. <laughs> I'm Teresa Strasser, and did you know Marilyn Monroe was once caught for shoplifting? What did she steal? Ointment. Would you want to have a seven-year itch? I'm Andy Kindler, and I say that when James Dean was 13, his family converted to Judaism. During his bar mitzvah, he employed method acting and cried continually during the service. At the reception, he screamed like a maniac and knocked over the punch bowl. James Dean did that! <laughs> Got it right? You'll find out tonight on Balderdash. Starring Elaine Boothler. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Welcome to Balderdash. Balderdash, something that isn't quite true. Here's something very true. We have three very funny people to make you laugh tonight. Give it up for Regan Burns. Thank you. Teresa Strasser Thank you. and Andy Kindler. Regan Burns had the true answer to our first question of the evening. Marlon Brando's sister walked him to school on a leash. She was so weird, she let the dog drive and eat at the table. So, <laughs> our, our other two stars were full of balderdash, and that's your challenge, my friends. You've got to figure out who's telling the truth, who's full of balderdash. You get to bet on it. Correct balderdash bet pays off at one to one. Correct wager on the truth pays off at two to one. We'll get you each started with 250 points, and I will tell you so you can determine how much to bet that our first category this evening is ooh, peculiar people. Peculiar people. So lock on those wagers and choose either truth or bold or dash. Hi, Eric. Hi, how are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm nervous. Oh, don't. <laughs> this show is the silliest show ever, and we're just here for fun. Yes. Okay, so what'd you wager? Uh, I bet uh, 250 points on Balderdash. All of it? You should wow. be very nervous. Uh-oh. No, I'm kidding. That's great. That's wow. a great bet. Wow. <laughs> He's going for it. Look out. Okay, this would be Woo. Cheryl. Hi. Hi. What a lovely ensemble. Thank you. Lovely, thank you. And how much did you wager? I am going for Balderdash, and I wagered 176 points. Well, let's not waste a second. We meet all sorts of interesting people on this show, and one of them is William A. Mitchell. Why is William A. Mitchell peculiar? Well, why don't we ask VH1's and Spike TV's own Regan Burns. Oh, thank you. Shut up. Hello, Elaine. Hello. Uh, this particular gentleman holds the record for holding 76 lit cigarettes in his mouth at the same time. He also holds the record for the most cancerous lesions in one mouth. <laughs> what a lovely picture. I'm sorry we don't have support. Regan Byrne says he held 76 lit cigarettes in his mouth at one time. The lovely Teresa Strasser from Good Day, New York. Thank you. This man, what's his name? William A. Mitchell. William A. Mitchell. <laughs> That's a nice start. <laughs> Yeah, they're going to totally believe you. Unconvincing. Fantastic. Thank you. I'm sorry. I was remembering James Dean's bar mitzvah. Now, <laughs> I'll, I'll do that joke again. Don't start with me. <laughs> this is the man. Let me try to re regain credibility. Go ahead. He invented the candy Pop Rocks. Now, I you were, love him. Right? He was a great man. Sadly, yes. he died recently at the age of 91. Oh. It was a beautiful funeral. That is, until somebody poured Coke on the ashes and the whole urn exploded. <laughs> What a kidder. Okay, so he, he invented Pop Rocks. Pop <laughs> Andy Rock. Kindler, tell us about James Dean's bar mitzvah. <laughs> I'll do the joke again. Don't, don't push me. Don't push him. He's on Everybody Loves Raymond. He'll walk exactly. right out of here and go to his real job. Will Mitchell has the dubious distinction of being the first person on the FBI's most wanted list. Of course, back then it was easy to get on the list. All he did was he, he cut off J. Edgar Hoover in traffic. <laughs> and J. Edgar Hoover promised to hunt him down like an animal. <laughs> and he found him at James Dean's bar mitzvah. Okay, James Andy Dean. Kindler says he was the first man on the FBI's most wanted list. Wow. Teresa says he invented Pop Rocks, and Regan says he held 76 cigarettes in his mouth. Thank goodness you're both looking for Balderdash. Pick a star. Did you not believe, Eric? Well, uh, I went for Balderdash, and I did not believe Andy, and I have no 
idea why. I just didn't. It's, it's the look in his eye. Good reason. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Cheryl, who'd you go with? I am going for Balderdash, and I went with Teresa, even though you did recover, but I really <laughs> believe Reagan has the right answer. Oh, well, well, let's find out. Why is this man known to us? Oh, no. Oh, Regan didn't have the right answer. Teresa did. I'm afraid it's going to leave you with just 74 points, but that's pretty darn good for you. That was a big bet, and it paid off. 500 to 74. Plenty of chance to catch up. The night is young. We'll be right back and give Cheryl a chance to catch up to Eric after this. This is Eric Schill. Hi. Hello. Hey, where are you from? I'm from Alton, Illinois, mm -hmm. and um, I've been in the broadcasting industry for many years, but I uh, recently quit to take care of uh, my father, oh. who fell, fell ill. So. Oh, well, I hope he's doing okay. Oh, he's doing great. Well, good for you. That's no, thank lovely. You. What a nice story. Good for yeah. you. And Mr. Schill meet Cheryl Shig. That's some, some good pairing up on the names today. Where are you from, Cheryl? Hi, I'm from Pittsburgh, um, Pennsylvania. Yeah. And I've been a registered nurse for Los Angeles County for about 16 years. I'm married. I have a 28-year-old son and a 6-year-old granddaughter. Hi, Crystal. Oh, yay. Hi. Everybody looks young but me. Okay. <laughs> we're up in the ante on this one. We're going to add 500 points to each of your scores. Cheryl, you're way back up there to 574. And Eric, you're at 8,000. Pretty nice round number. You have to bet at least 250 points in each of the two following questions. And the first category coming up is musical authors. Musical authors. So lock in those wagers for truth or balderdash. And was it another big bet, Eric? Yes. Okay, uh, what was 800 it? 800 on Whoa, Balderdash. That is a big bet. Okie dokie, Cheryl. I bet 270 points going for the truth. Oh, like the truth. Up. That could be a big payoff panel. Musicians are so versatile. Some can even read and write. So, which of the following music stars actually wrote a children's book? And we will start with Teresa Strasser. Okay, you know the guy LL Cool J, yeah. the rapper? Yeah. He's actually written a children's book. It's called And the Winner Is, and it celebrates sportsmanship. Now, incidentally, 50 Cent also wrote a book called I Don't Like Green Eggs and Getting Shot. <laughs> That's stellar. Excellent. So Teresa says LL Cool J wrote And the Winner Is. Andy Kindler. Well, James Dean, when he got bar mitzvah... No. Um, Alanis Morissette has written a book called The Earth is Crying, and it's to teach kids that, uh, you know, adults are killing the planet on a daily basis. And now she's working on her new book, which is called The Moon is a Little Whiny. <laughs> I, I, I swore that would get more. Okay. It deserved more. Andy Kindler, Alanis Morissette, The Earth is Crying. Regan Burns. Uh, Elaine, I'm going to try to get through this, uh, <laughs> but it's a little hard. I'm having a lot of hatred for the contestants today. Oh, that's terrible. There's well, such lovely people. Shill and Shig. Eric, uh, Eric may be the prettiest man I've ever seen. <laughs> and that's, uh, that's disturbing. He just called and, you a girly uh, man. Cheryl is wearing the same earrings I was going to be wearing today and didn't even bother to consult with me. Uh, but anyways, David Crosby... <laughs> Nice segue, huh? David Crosby of uh, Crosby, Stills, and Nash has written a book called Look at All the Pretty Spiders. And don't confuse it with his earlier book that he wrote uh, during Woodstock called Look at All the Pretty Spiders. Uh, <laughs> it's a different book? He was seeing a whole lot of different things at Woodstock. Okay, so Regan Burns says that he likes your earrings, he has them at home, and David Crosby wrote, Look at all the pretty spiders. Teresa said LL Cool J wrote, and the winner is, and Andy Kindler said Al Alanis Morissette wrote, The Earth is Crying. You're looking for truth, you're looking for balderdash, pick a star. <laughs> Who did you choose, Eric? Well, again, I went with balderdash, mm -hmm. and I picked Teresa. Teresa didn't buy it. Okay, Cheryl? I'm looking for the truth, and I picked Teresa because I think I've heard of that book. Wow, both for Teresa. Well, only one can be right. Let's find out the real children's book. Oh, oh boy! Ah! Wow, that's some fun. That's my favorite of 
three to one payoff. That takes you up to 1,114. A nice come from behind to knock Eric all the way down to 200, but you have a chance to come back, and we'll go right to the next category, so you can do just that. Laughable laws. You'll have to bet the whole 200, but you can still choose Truth or Balderdash, and you can bet at least 250 on Truth or Balderdash. So, Eric, 200 on? Uh, 200 on Truth. Well, big payoff if you're right. Cheryl? I went for Balderdash, and I wagered 500 points. Okay, on Balderdash. Here we go. One of these is a real laughable law from Fenwick Island, Delaware. Fenwick Island. Let's start with Andy Kindler. I know that in Fenwick, it is illegal to picnic on the highway which is sad because I love to picnic on the highway. I also love to go jogging on the runway at the airport. Yeah. And uh, you know what's the best? Camping on railroad tracks. It's really that. I'm back! <laughs> Andy Kindler says it's illegal to picnic on the highway. Regan Burns. Oh, I'm glad it only took you four and a half shows to get that laugh. <laughs> Elaine, I thought I would have hated to go to Fenwick College because the minimum drinking age on Fenwick Island is 60 years old. But I recently spent a little time there. I, I went to a toga party at the campus and uh, I picked up just about the hottest 78-year-old you will have ever seen in your life. Okay, Regan Burns says the, it's illegal to drink under the age of 60 there. Teresa? You cannot throw shoes at a wedding. I go to one ex-boyfriend's wedding, they pass a law against me. Wow. They were flats. Hey, you must have had great aim to inspire that law. Teresa says it's illegal to throw shoes at a wedding. Andy says it's illegal to picnic on the highway. And Regan says it's illegal to drink under the age of 60. Balderdash, truth, pick a star. Eric, who did you believe? Well, I went for truth, and I picked Andy. Um, I, again, I have no idea why. Okay. That's <laughs> good reason to be around here. Okay, Cheryl? I went for Balderdash, and I also picked Andy because that sounds ridiculous. <laughs> Whereas, you know, drinking under the age of 60 makes a little sense. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. Let's see the true law in Fenwick, Delaware. Oh, look at that. That is true. That's amazing. Wow. Total reversal. Not so good for you. It takes you down to 614. Eric, you're back with a vengeance. You're back up to 600. We're neck and neck, 14 points apart. Anybody's game. Come on back. Closed captioning provided by... We're back. And here's the star of Balderdash, Elaine. We have a very exciting close game going on here. Here's your last chance for someone to go to the Balderdash Barrage. We'll give you each a thousand points with which to bet. Cheryl, you're at 1614. Eric, you're at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. You must bet at least half your bank, half your bank in this round, and on truth only for a two to one payoff. The category is going to be what's going on here. It'll be a visual, a picture. What's going on here? Lock in those wagers for truth. Only. And of course, in this round, we don't reveal your wagers until after we see what's going on here. Take a look at this picture. All I can tell you is it is in Marlington, West Virginia. That's all I know. We need to know what's going on here in Marlington, West Virginia. And we will start with Regan Burns. That's the Kindler family reunion. <laughs> <laughs> Elaine, take a look at what I fondly call the roadkill cook-off. Oh, no! The fine Ooh. folks in West Virginia get together once a year to make some of the best gourmet food out of varmints found on the side of the road. Oh. Now, don't get squeamish. Squeamish? <laughs> don't, uh, don't get too... I'm getting too... <laughs> <laughs> Don't get too uh, squeamish because they have the best Possum Tetrazzini, this side of Denny's. Gulp. Okay, Regan Burns says it's the roadkill cook-off. Teresa? 
Actually, this is a festival known as Gabby Hayes Days. Do you guys know Gabby Hayes? Yes, an he old was, western bearded right. guy. He always played the sidekick in the westerns, the bearded, grubby, toothless guy. Now here you see the three finalists in the Gabby Hayes Lookalike Contest. This is a very big deal. It is not easy to find a grubby, bearded, toothless guy in West Virginia. It is like, it is like finding a needle in a needle stack, Cheryl. <laughs> Gabby Hayes Day, says Teresa. Andy Kindler. That does look like a meeting of the Regan Burns fan club, of course. <laughs> ah, come on! It's James Dean's bar mitzvah. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you. This is actually the, uh, uh, the tobacco spitting championships. Each year, uh, people from as far away as West Virginia and east of West Virginia <laughs> gather for the, toba the tobacco spitting championships. <laughs> hey, and don't try this at home unless you don't mind your home being covered with disgusting brown liquid. Okay, here we go. Andy Kindler says it's the tobacco spitting championships. Teresa says it's Gabby Hayes Days. And Regan says it's the roadkill cook-off. You are very close. Carefully pick a star. Okay, let's find out what's going on here. Oh boy, it's the road to the boat. That's sad news, but it is. That was true. Okay, Eric, you're just a little bit behind. Did you pick Reagan and did you bet correctly? I uh, bet 1500 on Andy. Oh boy, actually. that leaves you with 100. Well, let's see where it goes. Cheryl, who'd you choose and how much did you bet? I wagered 1,612 points on Reagan! Reagan! <laughs> Thanks for coming. Thank you. Champion! Woo! Yahoo! You gotta go to the Balderdash Brush. With who would you like to play? The one who got me this Stick way. with Mr. Burns. Brandon. We'll meet you right yeah. down in the middle. Yeah. Follow yeah. me right down here. Come on back and watch us win some stuff. We'll be back with more Balderdash. Balderdash continues. Here again is Elaine Boosler. She has chosen Dreamboat. Dreamboat, Regan Burns, help us with the Balderdash Barrage. Our favorite boy. Okay, there are some great prizes up today. Here is John Machida to tell us about the first one. It's fine timepieces from Croton Watch Company. Select from a variety of distinct, elegant styles from the classic Croton collection. Croton fine watches since 1878. Visit them online at CrotonWatch.com. Very cool. And here's John with today's grand prize. It's a trip to New York City. You and the guests will enjoy deluxe accommodations at the luxurious Le Parc Meridian, New York, located in the heart of Manhattan. Steps away from Central Park, Times Square, and Fifth Avenue's famous shop, Le Parc Meridian, uptown, not uptight. Back to you, Elaine. And here's how we're going to do it. There are ten letters in the word Balderdash. Behind nine of those letters is the first fabulous prize. Behind one of those letters is the trip to New York. So we're going to narrow the field by playing a game for 45 seconds. I will read you sentences that end in total Balderdash. You have to correct them to make them true. We'll try one, okay? Okay. If I say Raggedy Ann's brother was named Jack Black, you would say... Andy. Andy, exactly. If you don't know what say pass, Regan will fill in for you, hopefully. You don't know what say pass. We'll go to the next one. For every correct answer, we will take away one of the letters not containing that trip to New York, getting you closer and closer to New York, okay? All right. Time for the big Balderdash Let's barrage. Let's do it. Let's put 45 seconds on the clock. And the clock starts now. To get strong, Popeye eats a hamburger on Tuesday. Spinach. Yes. In Star Wars, Harrison Ford played Wicked the Ewok. Pass. Han Solo. Yes. The Hudson River runs through the state of Hudsiana. Pass. Mississippi. New York. The place where monks live is typically called a disco. Pass. Monastery. Yes. Jack Lemmon won the Best Lead Actor Oscar for his role in Save the Sports Section. Pass. Tiger. Yes. The color associated with the Communist Party is chartreuse. Pass. Red. Yes. The number of faces on a cube is Rubik's. Pass. Six. Yes. E. E. Cummings was famous for writing pink slips. Pass. Pass. Poetry. Hedda Gabler was written by Hedda Hopper. Pass. Ibsen. Yes. The first Playboy centerfold was stapled shut. Pass. Marilyn Monroe. Yes. The only country that touches Portugal is Antarctica. Pass. Argentina. Spain. Whoa! Eight right and it was all Reagan Burns, I believe. <laughs> eight right. Man, you know how to say pass, don't you? Yes, okay. I do. Take eight letters away from Balderdash. You got a 50-50 chance over there. Let's see if it's New York, A or the D. A. A. Come, Come on, on, New Come York! On. Come on! Good time watching. Remember, rescue pets make the 
the best chat tips. Check it all out at www.talesofjoy.net. Thanks for watching. We'll see you right back here next time on Ball for Dad. Hi, Sunday. The Cartwright Boys ride again. In a Western adventure as big as they come. Saddle up for an exciting original series, The Ponderosa. Sunday, 8, 7 central on I. Ah. I, Independent Television.